Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. A little bit phlegmy, just um, came back from tour, got a bit of this post tour fluke. I'm getting old now and I can't handle like more than three or four gigs in a row without being like Ugh, the next day. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a hot second since the last video. Obviously I've been away for a little while um, playing with uh, Marisa and the Moths, but we're back. I didn't have anything planned for a lesson, but I just wanted to get something out there because like I said, it's been a while. Um, so I've got a nice little sectopedy drum fill. Um, and then I'm going to chuck out a load more of these sort of like style feels to the lovely, beautiful folks over at my website. And but this is going to be one of them. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you like this new intro and you want to give it a crack, stick around, and I'll break it down. So clip it. Right. This drum fill consists of four beats. Okay. So one measure. Um, we're going to play six notes per beat. The first one is going to be a six-stroke roll, which is right, left, left, right, right, left. The second sticking pattern is gonna be kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick. The third one is gonna be another six stroke roll. Right, left, left, right, right, left. And then the last one is gonna be kick, kick, right, left, right, left, crash. So the way this came about is I was piddling around by playing the six stroke roll, because it's really fun. And then following that up with. Okay, so this is just beats one and two. If I was to loop those rounds. Right, left, left, right, right, left, kick, kick, right, left. If you loop this round, it starts something quite nice. I'll start slow. Because you've got those two like big accents bookending um, the six stroke roll. And then when you're playing the kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, it brings both of those accents right to the middle. And it sounded nice. Slide, you know, obviously you can chuck your left hand up to the high tom. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep it, just so it's fairly easy to explain. Um, we'll keep the six stroke roll on the snare drum. Follow up that kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick. Now the way, um, well I was just sort of like practicing looping those two patterns. You just do it just to sort of build up the muscle memory. So you, like when you go to play it, it sort of instinctively just sort of comes out without too much thought process. Or at least that's the aim. Um, Struggling to use this as an idea and then get out of the fill. So obviously doing that. Right, left, left, right, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, left, right, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, crash. Quite if you've got a double pedal, that's not gonna be too bad and do um for some of you. For me it's still a bit of a challenge. But um doing the double kick, obviously at the end of the uh, kick kick right left kick kick and then trying to hit the crash, just when I was coming back into that downbeat when practicing, I just didn't ever have that conviction I was hoping for. Getting that. Bah, 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 bah. Right, so you got that one triplet crash or one, two, three. Dish. No, one, two, three. Where is it? Yeah, I mean, it just sort of limited me, uh, limited me to how fast I could go. So that's why I've ended up with this slightly different ending where we're going to play kick, kick, stick. Plus, it's nice to have a bit of variety so it doesn't sound too sort of, you know, caught in the same sort of loop. So we end up. I've waffled on this one, and it's like waffling. What we end up with, after all of that, that lovely little story, is right, left, left, right, right, left, for beat one. We're going to play that all on the snare drum. Then we're going to play kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, which is going to be kick, kick, snare, kick, kick. We're then going to play another right, left, left, right, right, left. Again, six stroke roll on the snare drum. And then we're going to play kick, kick, snare, snare, snare. We put it all together and <coughs> <coughs> sorry. If we put it all together and flow, we can then get in and out of a groove. A little bit faster. All right, so if you want to just mix up a tiny bit, um, take the uh, the last note of your six stroke roll, just chuck that up into the high tom, that'll sound good. You do 
on the second half as well. I like that ending as well. Kick, kick, hmm, let's put that together. That's an idea we come up with. I think I actually might like that more. So um, that's the fill. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Obviously, keep the first and last note, your accented ones with your six stroke roll. Then you've got kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick. Big right, left in the middle of that. And obviously, your kick's going to be sort of pretty much the same all the way through. And then another six stroke roll. And then what was that noise. And then another uh, kick, kick, right, left, right, left crash. At the end, that will get you out that nice little six note pattern um, and give you plenty of opportunity to bosh that bass drum and crash together for beat one of the next bar. So what I'll do now, I'll pop up there just so you can get a different view of it and um, then I'll come say goodbye. Here we go. I'm tethered. All right, nice and slow, just the pattern. All the way through, nice and flowy. Get that into a groove. Go slightly faster. Guys, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Sheet music will be available on my website, www.alexrichesterdrums.com. Um, there'll be some new lessons going up there soon, so if you're a sponsor, thank you. Um, I'm going to be chucking some more fills up there, and then I'll bring out some more meaty lessons once I've uh, sat down and sort of planned some of those out, because um, I've definitely got a few in mind. Just need to work out structures so they, they flow nicely. All right, um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, there's like 400 other videos to go through. If you like the video, hit that like button, uh, notification button for notifications, all that lovely stuff. And in the meantime, take care, keep drumming, and I'll see you soon with some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, see you later. Bye.